before installing Hyperledger Fabric, uh, make sure that you have downloaded and installed Docker Desktop for Windows 10. Now, in the first step, open Windows PowerShell in administrator mode. Once you have done that, you need to insert the first command. This first command will enable Windows subsystem for Linux. Write or copy this command in your Windows PowerShell and press enter. This will enable Windows subsystem for Linux. Now we need to enable virtual machine feature. So we need to copy this command or write this command in Windows PowerShell and press enter. This will enable Windows feature which is virtual machine feature. And the operation is performed successfully. In the next step we need to set the default version of WSL to 2. So we need to write this particular command in Windows PowerShell. And the operation is performed successfully. In the next step we need to install Ubuntu app from Windows Store. So we need to open the Windows Store. In the search box we need to type Ubuntu. For this particular installation we are installing Ubuntu 20.04.5 uh, Click on the get button It will download and install Once it is downloaded and installed you will get uh, open button it will start the installation it will ask for a username I will enter my username and it will ask for a password for that particular username we have to retype the password to confirm it once it is done it will uh, complete the installation successfully and your new user will be created for the Ubuntu close this window for the next step we need to install Windows terminal uh, from the Windows Store the Windows terminal will help in managing the Ubuntu terminal as well as uh, Windows Terminal in the same app, uh, same software. Once it is installed, click open. So in the next step, we need to download Linux kernel update package. But if you have installed Docker previously, then you can skip this uh, particular step. It is not necessary so in the next step we need to open windows terminal and add a new ubuntu tab to add a new ubuntu tab you have to first install ubuntu 20.0.4 version which we have already done so we go into the windows terminal and we already found the ubuntu section in that just click on that and that ubuntu terminal will get open in the next step we need to uh, run these two commands sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to update and upgrade all the packages linux packages or ubuntu packages so it will ask for a password you need to enter your password and it will start the update so all the updates are done now we need to run the upgrade command sudo apt upgrade and uh, it will ask do you want to continue we need to specify yes so just type capital Y and it will start the upgrade it will upgrade all the packages so all the 
the packages are updated and upgraded in the next uh, step we need to download docker and install it on windows and if you have downloaded and installed docker previously you can skip this step also in the next step we need to enable docker for ubuntu so first we need to go to settings in the docker software so just open docker desktop in the settings tab go to resources in the resources go in WSL integration and in that just uh, turn on the Ubuntu 20.0.4 option and press apply and restart button it will enable Ubuntu it will enable docker for the Ubuntu this may take few minutes if you want to confirm that the docker is enabled for Ubuntu go to the command line on the windows terminal and type in docker minus v it will specify the docker version and you can also type docker dash compose minus v so if you get the versions of docker and docker compose it means that it is docker is enabled for ubuntu in the next step again we need to uh, run these two commands sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to check uh, we have updated and upgraded all the packages it shows uh, all packages are up to date similar will be the case with upgrade as we have done it previously in the next step we need to check whether we have installed or if curl is installed already to check it we need to type the command curl minus v if it is not installed you need to install it by typing the command sudo apt get install curl it will install curl on your device in the next step we need to check if golang is already installed to check it we need to type go version so it specifies go command go not found that means go is not installed in our machine to install it we first need to download the package to download the package this command we need to run this command this will download the package for golang once the package is downloaded if we check go version again it will say command go not found because we have just downloaded the package we need to extract that package to extract that package we need to use this command when we use this command the downloaded package will get extracted now again if we check go version still we that is not found we need to set path to set the path for golang we need to run these two commands this is the first one and this is the second one once this is done now you can check the go version command and this will uh, specify you the version for golang that means it is installed successfully in the next step we need to check if git is installed so just type in git space version it specified the version for git so it is already installed now for the next step we need to install a hyperledger fabric and fabric samples to do so we have to first create a new directory by using the mkdir command so use this command to make a new directory called github.com once it is created we need to change our directory to github.com 
use this particular command to change that change to directory github.com once the direct we go in that directory we need to uh, specify this command to download the latest release of fabric samples this particular command will clone the hyperledger repository into our github.com directory all the fabric images will be downloaded one by one or cloned one by one once you can see all the fabric images uh, hyperledger docker images list of hyperledger docker images once this is done we need to navigate to the fabric folder so first we need to go to change the directory to wsl dollar wsl and after that i change the directory to fabric samples once we are in fabric samples we need to test the network so first we need to so the ls command will uh, type in or uh, show every folder present in fabric samples we need to change the directory to test network so t cd test network so this network dot sh down will remove existing any existing container from pre previous run so already running containers will be removed by using this command you can see the removed containers next we need to run the fabric test network which can be done by using this command network.shup up down used to remove the containers or images up is used to boot up the fabric test network you can see the images uh, various hyperledger images which we uh, have booted up now we need to if we need to check the running docker images we need to use this command docker uh, space images it will show all running docker images we can see all the hyperledger fabric images so the command is docker space images you can also check this by using the gui you need to simply go to docker desktop and in the images tab you can see the list of hyperledger fabric images that we uh, that we have run or that we have booted up so that's it for this practical we have installed hyperledger fabric on windows 10 successfully